Foreign Power from Kansas City Southern rumbles toward Norfolk Southern's Inman Yard in Atlanta, Georgia. KCS engines are actually a pretty common sight in Atlanta, but the equipment down here is not. It's part of one of Norfolk Southern's track geometry trains. And that thing that kind of looks like a locomotive is nicknamed the Brick. It, along with the coach behind it, NS36, travels all around the Norfolk Southern system, looking for track defects and gathering data. Now, the Brick was once a Norfolk and Western SD40, and the research car was once a Santa Fe business coach, according to the website altunaworks.info. All right, let's take a look at this thing in action. It's 2016, and we're on 6th Street in Augusta, Georgia. When you hear this city's name, the famed Masters Golf Tournament may come to mind, but for rail fans, this town is known for its street running. For nearly a mile, Norfolk Southern trains cruise down this road at 5 miles per hour as they make their way into and out of the state of Georgia. South Carolina is over there on the other side of the Savannah River. And by the way, the trains don't have to stop at any traffic lights. The track geometry train is pulled by standard Norfolk Southern diesels. This low angle shot shows some of the technology in use. Now, I can't identify all the stuff down here, but we can see sensors mounted on the Brick's trucks and on one end of NS36. Behind that big window, there's theater style seating with desks for crew members. Norfolk Southern's rail network is pretty big and they actually have another track geometry train that looks similar to this one. Here's NS34 sitting in the gulch in downtown Atlanta. It looks a lot like a slug. Well, that's because it used to be one. According to the website altunaworks.info, before becoming part of this NS track geometry train, it was a Norfolk and Western slug. And before that, it was an NNW SD35. I'm not sure about the origins of NS33 that's coupled behind it. Looking at the back end of the brick, we can see it has an exhaust stack for its generator. That generator supplies its power and the power for the coach behind it. NS36 has quite a lighting setup at the rear and a horn. They've installed some LED light bars since I last saw it in 2016. Of course, both pieces of equipment are painted in that distinctive Tuscan red color. Geometry cars, like the ones in this set, are operated by the railroad's engineering department, more specifically track inspection and development. The sensors on board see things that the human eye can't. Now, one of the most common testing methods to detect defects uses ultrasonic technology. These images, courtesy of the FRA's Track Inspector Rail Defect Reference Manual, show the unseen issues that can develop inside steel rails. Early inspection vehicles used an older testing method, pioneered by Sperry Rail Service, involving induction, which creates a magnetic field in the rail. According to a video posted on Norfolk Southern's YouTube channel in 2018, these train sets operate up to four times per year in high traffic areas or areas with curves. They say the raw data the equipment generates is stored on removable hard drives, with the most important data transmitted wirelessly to Norfolk Southern servers. Equipment used on the track geometry cars includes pulse lasers, line scan cameras, accelerometers, and inertial equipment. So you may only see a train like this one a few times a year, but we've all probably seen workers in high rail trucks performing visual inspections. They're required by the FRA to do this at least twice a week on busy main lines. So what does the future of track inspection look like? According to an article and video posted on Norfolk Southern's website in March of 2020, they are developing a system that is autonomous and can be mounted on a conventional locomotive. The company says it allows them to use an existing asset in revenue service to inspect rail while pulling loaded trains at track speed. Furthermore, NS says the system will supplement its existing fleet of geometry cars and high rail trucks. Of course, technology like that won't be as impressive to look at as the brick. There's no doubt a railroad's track is absolutely fundamental and critical to its operations. And these odd looking machines keep things running and safe. <laughs>